Hello, welcome back to another food diary. This is three days of really, really low effort vegan meals. Yeah, hope you like them. Hope you try some of these yourself. As always, let me know in the comments, what sort of lazy vegan meals have you been making recently? I'm curious, I'm always looking for new inspiration. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. For some reason, I'm craving something savory today for breakfast. I'm thinking along the lines of tofu scramble, um, maybe in a wrap. Usually I want a sweet breakfast in the morning. Eight times out of 10, I would say, but today, today's different, today's different. But first, coffee. I'm bringing a large non-stick skillet with some olive oil to medium high heat. Then I'm crumbling a block of plain tofu straight into the skillet and sprinkling some cornstarch on top. Mixing all that up and I let that pan fry for like three to four minutes before adding a couple tablespoons of kimchi, a splash of soy sauce, a handful of vegan pizza cheese, and a handful of spinach. I allowed the tofu cheese mixture to cook for another three to four minutes at this point. Yeah, and that was my filling for my breakfast wrap. I also added some tomato slices and black sesame. After rolling it up tightly, I transferred the wrap back into the pan to toast up for another minute or two on each side. And that was that. Then a little while later, I made a sweet snack. In a bowl, I mixed together some almond butter, pumpkin spice syrup, cacao powder, a pinch of salt, and some oat milk. So this is kind of like a chocolate sauce that I had next to some banana chunks and some peppermint tea. Whenever I don't know what to eat, I'll just have roasted potatoes. So that was my really late lunch. It was already getting dark. Um, so I had a mix of regular potatoes and sweet potatoes that I just piled up on a plate and added some herby vegan cream cheese to, plus some tahini and some cress. Yeah, the lighting was getting pretty bad at this point. And so here I'm using my phone to kind of try and make this look more presentable. Then I made my way to this really, really awesome storytelling evening that a friend of mine helps organize. Random teenage boys would come up to me and they'd be like, hey, 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 I have something to tell you. And under a hushed breath, making sure no one else was around, they would say, I'm also gay. It was so, so cool seeing people come together and share moments of their life like that. I've never been to an event like this before. My Deutsche is super shy, so I'm trying to figure out kind of what she's worried about because her face is very dire. It's summer between my freshman and sophomore year. Trying to make new friends, trying to get settled in a new job. I was starving after the show though, and so on my way back home, I stopped by this vegan fast food place. I just got their hamburger and it was really delicious. On to Saturday morning, I made myself a little breakfast bowl consisting of a banana, unsweetened soy yogurt, some peanut butter, some of these spelt flakes, this chocolate granola that I love, it's so good, and about a tablespoon of the almond mousse that was left over from the day before. That and some coffee, of course. I could watch clips of milk being poured into coffee for hours. For lunch, I made this really quick and lazy quesadilla type meal. I brought a non-stick skillet to medium and placed a whole wheat tortilla inside. I added roasted potatoes, some vegan cheese, kimchi, and spinach. I let that toast for about 30 seconds to a minute before folding this in half 
and then giving this another one to two minutes on each side. I've been obsessed lately with this almond miso sauce that I shared in my previous video. It's basically a combination of hot water, almond butter, miso paste, soy sauce, and vinegar. It's really yummy. Mixing this with a whisk is best actually. Maybe I don't know. This tastes so nice together, I can't stress this enough. For dinner, I had a friend come over and we made onigiri using these molds that I had acquired recently from the Asian supermarket. I once tried making onigiri using my hands only and that worked out semi-well. And so yeah, these molds are super helpful, even though it still took a while for me to get the hang of these as well. We filled these with spicy tofu and this really yummy pak choy mix. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too in depth with these recipe instructions just yet because I will be revisiting onigiri in a future Studio Ghibli video. Yes, I'm doing part two and I'm so looking forward to it. Sunday, I had to wake up early to go visit my family for a few days. So first I had some coffee and then my breakfast was dinner leftovers. I'm usually quite paranoid when it comes to eating leftover rice but since it was early morning felt like it would be okay and it and it was i can safely say that it was it was it was all good for those of you who are reading throne of glass or have read throne of glass i, I have a question um are we supposed to ship rowan and aelin aren't they like cousins or at least through generations distantly related. I know they have like a 200 year old age gap, but that's weird enough as it is for other reasons. I don't know why we need to why we need to bring in blood relations, but yeah, I've only read three books in the series so far. I just started the fourth one. Please don't spoil me, but tell me if you know the answer to this little cousin problem. <laughs> My mom and I went straight to a little cafe and had some cookies and coffee. Uh, these are vegan peanut butter chocolate chip, I believe. They were really nice. It's always fun coming home and figuring out what I can eat, especially when it's a Sunday and all the stores are closed. There really wasn't too much I could work with and I also felt incredibly exhausted and tired that day. So I had a large bowl of oats for dinner with frozen cherries and vanilla soy yogurt on top. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button. I will be back sooner rather than later. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace makes it incredibly easy for you to develop and grow your online business and monetize your expertise in a way that suits your brand best. Start with a new website. Choose one of their many gorgeous, gorgeous templates to get started. Create a matching logo and newsletter, all within Squarespace as well. With member areas, you can now sell bonus hidden content, such as online courses, giving you the chance to build a new revenue stream with ease. If you need any extra help, don't hesitate to ask their 24-7 award-winning customer service. Head over to squarespace.com slash minarome and use the code minarome to get 10% off your first purchase of a new website or domain.